All right, guys. I figured I'd make this little video because uh, I talked to a buddy of mine. He told me he bought some uh, Nagant shells, and I asked him was they boxer primed or Berdan, you know, brass or whatever. And uh, he's like, I don't know. How can you tell? And uh, that kind of prompted me. I said, Well, I need to make a video on this. I would like to show you a few of the differences. I'll zoom in. I got uh, a Berdan deprimed piece of uh, steel case here and a boxer prime steel case here just figured I would uh, zoom in and show you a little bit alright this being this being your Berdan as you can see it has the two flash holes in it and the boxer has one center flash hole you can see that real well. I think it would show up pretty good. You'd be able to see all the way through them. That's why I used the pistol shells. That's one of the differences with them. I'll zoom out a little bit and I'll show you some of the other differences. Alright. Right here, here's another one of the differences. I don't know if you can see that. If I can get it to zoom. Clearly, right in the center of the uh, Berdan primed, you actually have an anvil that's made into the shell. So, if you look, this is a, a Berdan primer that I just punched a hole in and pry and uh, pried out. It doesn't have an anvil like the traditional. Um, primers and I got one right here I can show you as you can see with the boxer primed it has the anvil inside the primer whereas the Berdan is just the empty primer and the anvil get it to focus the anvil is actually in the end of the shell between the two flash holes and naturally the boxer primer pocket just has one hole in it no anvil the anvil is actually inside the uh, primer I got one sitting here to actually show you that little star shaped piece I'll grab one right quick just throw my sample in the bin anyways you get the gist of it that little star you see in the in the center of the uh, primer is actually this is the anvil itself so that it's up inside the primer and your anvil's right here if you can see that real well and that's actually inside the primer where in the Berdan it has the anvil in the uh, in the primer pocket of the shell casing but I've, I've seen a lot of different forums and this that and the other where people think that you can convert one to the other it's not very easily done yes there are methods to where you can uh, decap your brass and um, drill out this anvil and uh, be able to replace it and people said you can convert them to boxer but uh, if you look at the uh, measurements I know you're not going to be able to tell it on here because this would be the equivalent of a, a large rifle large rifle primer and a short uh, small pr rifle primer but that's really not the case here is uh, the Berdan even in the large rifle primer and the Berdan primer they're two different sizes and I'll I'll document it in the comments below to so show you what size they are but I have seen some methods where some people said they actually epoxy the primer in and they, they actually said they could uh, 
use a tool and swage this uh, primer pocket out to where it will be tighter for and if they put the box primer in. I don't know if I'll ever go that route. I don't have any um, any uh, real high quality Berdan brass. These are all just steel case rounds that I'm playing around with. And uh, I just thought I'd show you all that. Big difference is, like I said, the Berdan has two flash holes, which is pretty wild. That this is, these are usually used in Europe, and uh, this is actually an American design. I can't remember the guy's first name, but it's, I think it's something like John or Jim Berdan. I can't remember how I have to look it up. But uh, he designed this, and it became pretty popular over here. But if anybody that does reload knows, this Berdan prime method is a pain in the watootsie to deprime in the box or even if you don't have a press you can just take a take a regular punch and just line it straight up in the middle which appears that I can't do on camera and just that's how your decapping rod works on a press when you press it down it pops that primer out but uh you can't do that with the Berdan because as you would be going in you would be um, hitting that anvil in the center of the steel or brass whatever case kind of case you got and it would break your decapping pin so a lot of people don't fool with it I mean there are methods out there but if it was me and I was gonna reprime Berdan brass I would actually order some Berdan primers because they are out there in fact it's probably right now a little bit easier to get Berdan primers than it is boxer primers with the way the market's going but I just thought I'd share that with you uh, my little insight I'm by no means an expert but I just thought I would show you the difference you know with the anvil in the case and whereas the box prime has got it in the, in the uh, primer itself instead of the primer pocket but that's all I got to say. Any yeah, questions, comments, concerns, just put them down in the bottom and uh, I'll get back to you. That's my take on it. That's what I've found out from sitting over here decapping Berdan brass, or in this case, Berdan steel. <laughs> all right, I'm gone.